Hey everybody, hope you are you have had a good week and everyone's doing well. Um, today I just want to share from James 4, uh, starting from uh, verse 13. I'll, I'll read these verses. It says, Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go to such or such a place and spend a year there and engage in business and make a profit. Yet you do not know what your life will be like tomorrow. You are just a vapor that appears for a little while and vanishes away. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will live and also do this or that. But as it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Therefore, to no one who knows the right thing to do and does it not, to him it is sin. And so we just see here, uh, James is talking to you know people that... Um, going out and living their lives without God in the picture of the lives. He's not saying you can't go and, you know, uh, do business and make a profit and go places. Um, but it's doing it without God, doing it without the thought of God. And, you know, in our lives, and I've seen many people and, and do that, they go get a good job, get a pension, and, um, you know, they, they got it made, and after the pension, you know, after they work so many years to get their pension, and they go live their own lives, right? Go maybe up north, uh, live in their cottage, or move, um, but without without uh, plan or thought of God, not hearing this is you know God in their lives, and I've seen many people you know come to church, do these things, never you know never um, invest in the church, never do any ministry, never um, you know serve the Lord, and, and we want to make sure we don't do that. We don't want to you know, do the, you know make sure business or profit is is above what asking God what He wants us to do. Are we asking him, you know, this is where you want to go, what do you want me to do? And the main focus is doing what God has asked us to do. We may live all together and some of us may, um, you know, have different business, different incomes, different things that happen in their lives. And we, we all get caught up and, you know, we want to do the same thing. We want to have the same um, vacations. We want to have the cottage. Or we want to have this and that. And again, I'm not saying that's, that's, that's sin, but we want to make sure that are we asking God, you know, is God in our lives? Is God leading our lives? Is, you know, are we doing the things that God has asked us? Are we looking for the things that we want in this life? And without even God in the picture. And so we want to make sure that God's in the driver's seat, not us. And you know, we're not living this life for all our enjoyment, for all our pleasures, or keeping up with everybody else, or the, the world, and the things that they do. Um, and, and even so, like it's you know it's I think it's so appropriate and I think the older you get the, the more you understand this verse where it says that your your life will be like um, over oh, here um, you're just a vapor that appears for a little while and vanishes away and that's so true our lives are so come you know we come into this world and leave this world so quickly and let's not do it uh, for our own selfish gain let's do it let's live this life for God because uh, He's the one that deserves it and for us to to make sure that we're asking God each day and you know each moment that maybe things get presented to us is this is what God wants or is this something that we desire and we're pushing for because it's nothing we don't want to live this life and not serve God not to be in the ministry not you know in our church volunteering right doing the things for God doing the things that God wants us to do um, we're not he didn't create us here to you know to come to this world and, and just do our own thing and then he'll call us home but I even want to even um from this, these verses, even just to kind of challenge all of us, right? Um, the things that we do, everything we do, right? Are, are we are we asking God or thinking about God before we do it? Um, when we go away, you, you know, vacations or um, if we do move, are we just doing these for uh, for ourselves? Or are we doing this for God? And um, you know, each God has to be in each aspect of our life, and we know this. I know lots of people have cottages, and it's fine. That's nothing wrong with that. And I know other people who they uh, they live for that cottage, and they go to the cottage, and they kind of stay there, and they don't. They're not connected to God. They don't go to a church and the community. And so, um, yeah, for us as Christians, we can make sure that you know whatever we do, wherever we go, is God leading us? And are we still when we go to these places, are we still connected to God, right? Do we go on vacation? Do we still stay connected to God? Do we still pray, read our Bible? Or do we even go to church, right? Somewhere um, where we go vacation. Is, these, is God still part of our lives or do we detach 
from him when we had that vacation, take a vacation from everything, including God. And then when we come back, we, we connect. And so that's not the way it's supposed to be. And so for us, for our business, um, for where we live, where we go, or, or is God still an yeah, active part of our lives? Are we still seeking him out in these, these decisions? Is he leading us in these decisions? And if we do go, are we still connecting to God? Are we still making him first in our lives or are we doing these things and taking a break and, and separating ourselves from God um, and, and just having that break and that fun um, so yeah just kind of I know it's kind of a rear verses today but um, just something for us to think about are we are we keeping God in everything do we truly do that um, you know as we go through each day um, are we asking God to to lead us um, you know if decisions come up are we praying to God? Are we taking it to Him? Um, you know, we may be tempted with a better job. Um, and I know, I know somebody that's shared that, you know, they're, they're looking for a job and, um, you know, they, they had many opportunities uh, to, uh, to have a new position, right? They're, they were, they got accepted by their applications, but these positions would mean they couldn't do any ministry at the church. And so, um, you know, that was the thing I challenged with. I said, if you take these jobs, you know, you can't do ministry anymore, but what's more important, God or, or the job? And they agreed, yeah, God is. And so, um, yeah, they declined all the ones there that uh, would take them away from, from ministry. The pay was better um, and the position was better, but we got to think, you know, what does God want me here for? Am I here just to, you know, get, uh, get a bit, bit of position for myself or more income? and give up all the things I'm doing for God or still do the things, you know, that would place them in and still serve God because we know God will provide. And, you know, we all have a different path and um, we don't want to get caught up in, in things of the world of what everyone else is doing and know that we're, we're lucky to know God and we're lucky to have him in our life. Uh, fortunate, I shouldn't say lucky, sorry. Um, we're fortunate to have him uh, and that we have eternity with him and, and not to get caught up in the things that we may not do that others do and feel that we deserve that um, and so we just need you know make sure that each each step each, each day we uh, we ask God and we and if we go somewhere do something we keep connected with God right he'll use us we go away to cottage and that we still see people um, we still can grow in our faith um, so just make sure that we um, bring him everywhere and, and, you know, ask him before we do need uh, any kind of decisions in our lives, business, or even um, the stuff on our own. Okay. Uh, hope you have a good week, and uh, we'll see you again.